Hey Scorpio, this is Ascension Empress with your bonus August reading. Thank you all so much for your support, y'all positive energy. Thank you to those who have been growing with me, who have just subscribed. If you haven't, please like, share, and subscribe. Okay, we're going to get into it and see what messages we have. This is for my sun, moon, or rising Scorpio. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If you have any other placements and, you know, you're channeling that energy, use your discernment. Again, take what resonates with you. Y'all, it's been thunderstorming and raining and everything all day. So my energy is like, de I'm definitely feeling all the Scorpio energy. That's probably why, you know, I ended up doing y'all before Leo. But that's something going on with the fixed signs. I feel like, yeah, with this full, the full moon energy along with the new moon energy, those are two fixed signs. And then, yeah, with, wow. Okay, Scorpio, your energy and opposing energy, Taurus, it's, it's a lot, okay? A lot of lessons, a lot of karmic lessons, especially, okay? I was saying in that, I don't know if it was the return of sender or the recent collective video. Oh, yeah, I guess it was that one. All right, so the recent collective video around, you know, we're all experiencing it in some way or another. Um, but that's just been the message for a while now. Us having to take that look in the mirror as well. Okay, so let's see, Spirit, what messages do you have? For my Scorpios, what messages do you have for my Scorpios? Ooh. Wow. Wow, Scorpio. I love this. Okay, so this looks like a, I'm hearing a yes. Okay, if there is some type of approval that you're waiting on, some type of answer, some type of connection. Um, if you're thinking about someone, Spirit is saying yes. It's so interesting because Capricorn, was it Capricorn? I believe so. Yes, Capricorn had such a huge energy around their twin flame. So some of y'all may be connecting with your twin flame, that divine partnership. You may feel this love coming in as well. Um, but I'm really getting that reciprocity and the connections are here. Okay, there's a lot of fulfillment. There's a fulfilling connection, a very spiritual connection that you may have with someone that's coming together. Okay, there may be a contract as well that some of y'all are signing. Um, a business as well as mm -hmm. wow wow there's something being planned something wow okay <laughs> there's a connection here whether business personal where you can work with this person is what i'm getting okay you guys both share maybe some of the same values you are i mean i mean the reciprocity, the vision, the love, the understanding between the two really allow you all to build something, okay? Or what this is that you're investing in, you've been planning something or planning for some type of contract, some type of agreement. Y'all, this is strong and we only got two cards, okay? Ooh, -wee, let's see, Spirit. What messages do we have going into the past? What messages do we have going into the past? Mm-hmm. Wow, I like that. King of Swords. All right, so some of y'all may have detached from old connections, old ways of being, an old mindset. And that's why you are vibrating so much higher, attracting this energy as well with the Two of Cups. And I feel like there's something that you saw that other people, I'm hearing, yeah, but beyond your years. Okay, there was something that, I mean, the vision, the understanding, the perspective that you have may even be kind of dark. Okay, y'all may have, when I see this King of Swords in this deck, I get an energy of, you know, he's been through some things. So he may definitely come off cold to a lot of people. This could be someone external to you. Okay, but I get, some of y'all are in an energy of, you know, this detachment. Um, also, there's an acceptance. There is an accept. Uh, yep, there's an acceptance and an understanding of what you've been through so that you can see and understand going forward as well. All right. And I'm hearing this acceptance is bringing in another acceptance. Okay. Y'all being accepted into something or into this higher vibration, this new chapter. Okay. Because the world and the wheel, all of that has been coming out for all the signs. This is the season that we're in. Okay. Reaping what you've sown. Many of y'all have taken the lessons. You've taken the wisdom you yeah like i think it was a collective reading act like you know okay when spirit has shown you something has taught you something you move forward so i'm i'm definitely getting the energy of leaving childish ways behind you okay you were somebody else and this happened yeah 
that's why this energy is here that's why this yes is here in this present moment and i'm hearing in the near future what's going on what's the overlaying energy spirit what's the overlaying energy oh y'all like these reasons we get so good and i i'm challenging myself while i'm thinking about um shutting off the comments more often because i told you that hermit energy mm-hmm Yep, look, in the higher font. <laughs> exactly. So some of y'all could be dealing with the Taurus. There could be energy around a commitment. I do strongly see a commitment. Some of y'all are waiting for a higher level of commitment, someone who will match your energy, your understanding, maybe someone who will challenge you because I feel like, you know, you being wise beyond your years going into the past, you know, spirit is, is definitely seeing that you want something of more substance. Okay, so this patience that you have, many of y'all are, yeah, it's, you're waiting with patience and passion. With the fire here, like you're ready, but you're not, you're not, hmm, you're not, you're not annoyed. So somebody may really think that you're, <laughs> You're whatever. Mm, that's them, y'all. That's them. Okay, let's see, Spirit. What messages do we have going forward? What message? Yep, see? See, as soon as I said, I was wondering what was going on. I was wondering what was going on. But then you got the Three of Swords. So, like I was saying, okay, so... Me personally, not wanting the comments on all the time just so I can, you know, you know, have some energy, some space. You know, not have to feel like I'm missing anything. I feel like there was boundaries, priorities, this awareness in the past, okay? Also, I'm hearing your mental health. And now you may be distancing yourself. You may be, you know, taking this new approach, but still open to what is for you. Okay, yeah. You're waiting until this comes in as well is what I'm getting. So you may be cold, not talking to some people, definitely not in communication, but it's for a reason. It's for a reason. And I feel like going forward, there may be someone who is heartbroken and really feeling, they're feeling betrayed or like there there's a missed opportunity with you going forward when they find out about this agreement, this connection, this contract that you have with the Two of Cups. Y'all, this is interesting. Let's see, Spirit. What, what is this Two of Cups here for? What is the Two of Cups here for? Wow. Wow. And the judgment card has been popping out in about every reading, y'all. This I'm telling you, this is the energy. This is the energy. I told you. The two of cups is here because spirit know you want more. They know you want this complete happiness. Okay. They're, they know that too many of y'all are confident in this rebirth. Very confident. With the sun card and this queen of swords, I'm also hearing they are going to see. They are, they are going to see you transform. Okay? Look how... The, I mean... Wow. Wow. <laughs> Y'all, if you... Hold on. If you just look at this... Look at me. If you just look at this, you are just surrendering. You are submitting to the will of God. Is what I'm getting. All of this light, it's being shown. Everything is being shown. And you accept it with humility, with a level of understanding. And look at this person losing their mind. They're losing their mind because I'm hearing this is this is it. This is this is for you. This was supposed to happen. This was part of the plan. And they're not a wow, spirit saying cuz they're not a part of it. They're not a part of it. You not paying this person no mind is what I'm getting. What other advice do you have? Ooh, that flipped out. Look. Look, and that flew out to the side. Okay? As soon as I say you not paying this person no mind, this person may have tried to do some magic, <laughs> but it didn't work. It did not work, and if it probably backfired. Now that I think about it, it probably backfired. It can't, I mean, it worked, but it didn't work on you. Here you have the biggest blessing 
you have the biggest blessing and someone is here just they losing it and you look like you don't even see that they exist like oh um, thinking about the next big thing what else do we need to know scorpio let's see yes yeah, scorpio tell us tell me let's see yep you done you done all right, three of cups came off to the side too. So this magician in reverse or whoever may have been trying to send negative energy, even it don't have to be, you know, spells or rituals, just by how they speak, the energy. Okay. Do they speak down on your dreams and what you can do? I'm feeling like you, you're you leaving this out in the past. Y'all, for a long time, yeah, for a long time, y'all been discreet, okay? Not sharing good news with just anybody, being mindful of who you invest your emotion. Yeah, this love and support, but you didn't, you didn't have no communication with a lot of people, and it's bringing you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy is what I'm getting. It's, a, it's just speeding up this transformation, yeah. All right, two of pentacles and the five of pentacles. Right, look, page of swords. Oh, yeah, four of cups. You're like, you know what? If I'm gonna be here doing my own thing, going through this transformation, because you're at the end, this is a completion. So, again, those ways of thinking, I mean, they're, they're, they're behind you. You're also not stressing about something anymore, is what I'm getting, because I'm hearing you'd rather wait. Okay, you'd rather sacrifice some things. Somebody also may be feeling a lack. Financially, some of y'all are like, I would rather focus on my finances. I would rather work with people who are going to, you know, serve me, who are going to help me become better. I'm hearing somebody also, they may have left you out. Yeah, they may have left you out and tried to have you a part of a third party situation or you did, right? And this person went from feeling left out to like hold up let me let me see now that i got more time on my hands right look with the four of cups her head not down anymore she somebody was probably feeling insecure are you feeling insecure when this happened but she got she got back up she got to balancing and now there's connections there's connections being made i'm hearing there's a new study me people are probably watching you now like wait a minute like, this person is over there just enjoying themselves. They're connecting with people. And now someone is off on the... Yeah, someone is on the outside looking in, y'all. On the outside looking in because this has ended. They're heartbroken. But this... Y'all, we've been talking about this for I don't know how long. They should have they took note. Right, with the page of swords. While they're looking, they're supposed to take note. What's the advice you have for Scorpio Spirit? What's the advice you have? Wow. Spirit said, uh, speak your truth. Know you are the truth, right? Ace of Swords. Okay, be very discerning. Very discerning. I'm here and hold your head up high, right? Because there may have been a time. I'm telling y'all, some of y'all, you didn't feel like you had enough financially. Now you're getting back up on your feet. Or there's something that just didn't have you valuing yourself enough, not giving yourself enough credit, right? And there's this acceptance. There's this realization, okay, just taking it on as, you know, more wisdom. Now you got your head held up high to the sky, to the most high with the sun, right? And again, accepting and submitting to this rebirth and again, receiving more wisdom and intelligence. Y'all. This is amazing. Ooh wee. What a oopsie. See? <laughs> and you get to that part. Alright. Not only amazing. I'm hearing your reputation is very respectable. It will be. Y'all like. I, I don't know what to say. Yes. Yes. Okay. Blessed. Your generations to come will be blessed. Many of y'all are coming into a position, into the security financially, and the tables are turning. The table, the tables are turning because somebody, I, I don't know what happened in the past, what somebody may have tried to sell you a dream, you sold somebody a dream, but the tables are turning here for whoever is choosing to vibe high, who is choosing to use their, their discernment about, you know, what's going to be the most productive. And it looked like when all of this is calling you, uh, you look like you want to pick up. 
Because you see what it has to offer. Spirit said, y'all are going to be financially well. What else do you want Scorpio to know? Wow. As soon as I said that, yes, because of your faith. Your faith, okay, and your works. As soon as I said financially well, eight of cups. Look, I said eight of cups. Yeah, so not only your works, but your ability to walk away, your ability to detach from emotional connections or decisions, whatever, whatever may be holding you back, may keep you away from this rebirth, right? That is baggage because she ain't got no baggage. She got a lot of faith and a lot of vision too, and the skill and the awareness and the productivity, the time management here, y'all. I mean, the time management in this reading is out of this world. I'm hearing clockwork. Like the signs, you some of y'all are seeing signs, like the synchronicities, and y'all are just on it. Y'all are on it. And that's why this is happening fast. This is probably why somebody is on the outside like, oh my gosh, it's, it's a lot for somebody. It is. Because this is a lot going on with you. This is a huge transformation happening so fast, so big, in a short amount of time. Y'all like... Anything else, spirit? Mm-hmm. Not a sword. See? See? Two different energies, y'all. Here you are. Like I told you, the synchronicities, you listening to your guides, your inner self, choosing peace. N no turbulent waters. You're like, you know what? This We're going to calm. We're going to be calm. These crows going to guide me. Meanwhile, somebody's scared of change. They're scared of the crows. They're scared of death. Everything. They're like, oh, wow. Or this person has le left me. This I missed the boat. They missed the boat. Somebody, or you missed the boat, y'all. <laughs> Somebody could be dealing with the Sagittarius, too. You hear that? Probably not, but it's sirens, y'all. Mm-hmm. What else do you want, Scorpio, to know, spirit? Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, it happens so fast. The louder your call gets, the faster you run to your call, the faster this person is like, oh my gosh, they're losing it. Somebody is losing it, y'all. What else? They feel like right on the nine of swords. Yup. Look, see? See? Four, four of pentacles. Four, four of swords because you're protecting your energy, right? You t you're taking the time to heal. I'm also hearing this person, they wanted to hold back. They wanted to be closed off emotionally and financially, not give a penny. Look, the moon. Somebody is drowning, y'all, in their emotions. And intuition is hunting them. So they may have projected. Oh, yeah, they projected. Yeah, they did. They definitely did. They projected a lot of negative energy. And this could definitely be, like I said, it's the return to sin. It's the person who tried to do some some energy. They try to do some energy work on you. That's what I'm getting, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Hooey, let's go ahead and let's see what the mother piece, what the advice is. Spirit, what's the advice? What advice do you have for my Scorpios? What advice do you have? See? See? This is advice for you. Nine of Swords, again, like, in reverse. Look at it. This is scarier. This, don't, this, don't this look scarier? These demons and all the other kind of stuff. And this person's scared of the crows. Now, Scorpio, your energy is all about the crows. <laughs> all right? That change, that death, that transformation. That phoenix energy. And here you go with the nine of swords in reverse spirit said, don't even be stuck. Don't be phased by the maze. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. They're also saying you're not stuck. And you don't need to be stuck because somebody else is choosing. And that's what I'm hearing. This is the karma that they're getting. This is the karma that they're getting. Look at that, y'all. Give and receive. Give and receive. This is this is what y'all gonna get because this is the energy that you sold into people, taking care of people, making sure people was okay. Now I'm feeling this is coming in towards you, and this person is also whoever this is. It could be multiple people. They're gonna have to learn how to tap into this energy. They're gonna have some of them are trying to come in and you know show you some love and take care of you however they can. 
but it looks like your energy you're like I, i'd rather just i'd rather just be i would rather just heal i would rather just relax and not not even deal with people right now that's what i'm getting <laughs> wow all right so let's see what's the overall message what's the overall message for my scorpios what's the ooh -wee? exactly that's what i'm talking about victory in one being flexible and two having a very unique perspective being made uncomfortable and having to be held upside down maybe even had to be held in yeah i'm getting somebody was incarcerated and now they're being released okay or there was a waiting period there was behind the scenes the learning yeah there was definitely a learning stage where maybe y'all had to wait longer than others but now here you are being seen here you are being recognized because you have respect for the process you know when to wait to, to keep your distance and then when to get your rest when to put you first right so i'm hearing this new perspective that you're receiving is it's allowing you to be oh well, yeah okay it's allowing you to be victorious all right but also very persistent you offering a lot of people a different perspective you know whether it makes them uncomfortable or not you really are because i'm hearing you've been uncomfortable that's why you have this okay so yes they're praising you for it and they love it but i don't a lot of these people i don't think they could even handle walking in your shoes if they can't handle you if they can't handle seeing you in this they definitely can't handle that y'all all right, what's the overall message? Oh, one more overall spirit. Yup, yup. See, high priestess energy. High priestess energy. Take it how it resonates with you. Because y'all know this has been real consistent, especially in the modern witch. We talked about that discretion, right? All right, so let's see. What's the overall divine feminine message, spirit? What's the overall divine feminine message for my Scorpios? Ooh, see, I like this. Our Lady of the Interior Life. I trust the answers I find within me. I know what the presence of love is real. Oh, I know that the presence of love is real. Exactly. Y'all, I feel like the, yeah, this, whatever the separation is, it's time apart, this time to take care of you, to heal you, or maybe to even see some things from a different perspective that has, you've probably been hurting yourself in a way, unintentionally. Yeah, it's really heightening your intuition. It's allowing you to be very successful and to move in a very, high, a lot higher vibration is what I'm hearing. Because I do feel like there was a lot of lack, maybe insecurity, not so much confidence in the past. And now other people are experiencing this and you're having to protect your energy while you're coming into having this confidence. So yes, the tables are definitely turning. All right, so that is your reading, you all. Thank you all again so much for your love and your support. If you would like a personal, my information is down below in the description box. I will be accepting personals until the 21st. After that, I will only be accepting emergency readings until September 3rd. All right, so please take care, you all. Bye.